Hello everyone, Cyberclips here, bringing you a brand spanking new Let's Play. And I will let the game speak for itself. Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. This is a request from Armageddon Time. Um, actually, I'll tell you about that in a minute. I will go through the story first. If it ever decides to come up. Any time now would be great. Come on! There we go. After Ganon was destroyed, Impa told Link a sleeping spell was cast on Princess Zelda. She will wake only with the power of number three Triforce sealed in a palace in Hyrule. To break the seal, crystals must be placed in statues in six well-guarded palaces. Link set out on his most adventuresome quest yet. Now, as I was saying, this is a request from Armageddon Time. Uh, we were talking and... Um... He's like, well, I really want to see you play through Zelda 2 because it's my favorite Zelda game. So I'm like, okay. How about, since this game is hard for me. I find this game very difficult. I'm not very good at it. I've only ever beaten this game once, and that was recently. Um, so anyway, I said, okay, I'll pick a game that's hard for you, and I'll play Zelda 2 since you know it's hard for me. So I said, fine, play Ninja Gaiden. So we're like, okay, fine. I'll He'll play Ninja Gaiden, and I'll play Zelda 2. So here we go. Oh, God. There's going to be lots of death, <clears throat> lots of epic fail. Oh, I'm not used to being this weak, either. To me, it feels like this game gets easier the more it goes on. I, I find it actually one of the hardest parts is when you're weak and you, you don't actually have like all your stuff, like all your spells and all your powers and all that stuff, but once you get everything, a lot of things die in like one hit, especially if you're maxed. You have max stats. I really like the music in this game. I know I say that in practically every game that I play, but music is a very important thing in a game to me. Oh god, these stupid bats. One thing you guys should know about me, viewers, is that I have shitty aim. I'm not very good at aiming things that move, like killing things that move. I usually get hit by them or miss them entirely. This Zelda game is was the very first Zelda game I ever played as a kid. No, I didn't play the first one first. No, I played this one first. I'm amazed it didn't turn me off of the Zelda franchise, but well... A Link to the Past is my favorite, but this one is pretty decent. I used to rent it a lot from the video store. Back when they actually had uh, the actual video game system and TV set inside the store so that you could sample a game before you rented it. That was pretty cool. I liked that. So if I ever wanted to rent a game, I could always play it a little bit on the, uh, on the video game system that the store had, and then I could see if I wanted to rent it or not. It was awesome. They don't do that anymore. Sadly. Go down here. Oh god. I hate this. I hate levels where there are bubbles. I can't see the bubbles. So I just have to run and hope to god that I don't hit anything. I have to look really close and I'm... I can sometimes sort of tell where the bubbles are, but... Generally, I, I can't see the bubbles, so I try to avoid places where there are bubbles. Oh god, I hate 
hate being so weak. Everything takes so many hits. Heart tank. Another thing. I'm talking about all the things that blow in this game right now, but I'll, I'll talk about the good things later. Is that... Um... If there's an enemy on screen, and even if you get an item or something, you know, when you hold it up and you just, you saw Link hold up with that great big creepy ass smile on his face, um, they can still hit you. Ah! Damn it! I can't see the bubbles! Okay, let's try this again. God, there aren't too many bubble levels in this. <laughs> I find this um, this type of Zelda game very interesting. I, I like the gameplay. It's it's like action RPG. I'm surprised they haven't made any other Zelda games like this. You know, you you physically you uh, actively fight the enemies, and you gain experience, and and then you level up. I mean, it's. I think the gaming system is really good. I'm, surpri I'm surprised this game bombed. I'm, I mean, it is pretty fun. Pigs! Oh, those pigs are so cute! I always thought those things were cute. I love pigs. I'm, I'm a sucker for, for pigs. I think they're the cutest animal. They're actually one of my favorite animals. If they weren't uh, creepy Ganon demonic pigs, then maybe I'd want one, but... I don't know. They're still cute. They're they're still pigs, so I guess they're still cute. And as you can see right now, we are in the first castle. There's actually a spell you're supposed to get before coming here, but I'm going to try and get through this castle without having it. Okay, so I have one extra key here, so... Let's see... Let's see which area that, that key unlocks. There we go. Never dodge those things. Uh. If you're expecting this playthrough to be like a uh, a guide to how to play this game, then go watch Armageddon Times playthrough because yeah, I'm just there's just going to be lots of uh, fail and getting lost and. This is mainly just for fun. I'm gonna play this game the way I want to play it. And that's how it's gonna be. Even if it's gonna be in a way that's gonna show how much I epically fail, because I'm not editing out any deaths. No matter how stupid they are, I'm gonna keep the deaths in. And you guys can feel free to laugh all you want, I know I will be. Even when I'm playing on my own and I and I die, I still laugh because sometimes it can be so dumb. I'm like, oh my god, I ran into that. Jeez. Uh -huh. Just laugh at your own mistakes. Life's much better that way. Come on, you stupid mushroom thing. I have to destroy all the enemies on the screen. It's like bloody video game OCD. Come on. Okay. Ooh, I like fighting these things. It looks like... it looks like Elmo, don't you think? It looks like a, a demonic Elmo. And he's throwing red things, I don't know what they are. Are they limbs? Are they... I, I don't know, I can't see what they are. They're just little red things. Yeah, demonic Elmo. I don't know the names of the, uh, of the monsters in this game, so I'll just make them up as, as I go. Demonic Elmo. Stupid sword stabbing thing. Die! Ah, life, good, I need that. 
Oh, fuck. I don't have a key. Okay, we gotta go back. Lots and lots and lots of backtracking. <laughs> I just wanted to see something there for a second. Okay. Ooh, all that lava on the bottom. I don't want to be falling into that. I can't believe that water can kill you, though. Like, does Link not know how to swim? Was he never taught? Why don't you think somebody would teach him? Or he could maybe get the flippers from uh, from Zelda 3, who knows. I wonder how old Link is supposed to be in this. I know in A Link to the Past he was supposed to be, what, 10? He looks like a teenager in this. He looks about, like, what, 14 maybe? Yes! Higher attack! Link looks like how he... Kind of how he did in that old cartoon series, you know? Like, brown hair... Um... Green... Tunic, that's what he always wears, but uh... You know, long... Brown sleeves... Yeah, he looks like how he how he did in that old uh, Mario cartoon with where some episodes had uh, had Mario on and some episodes had uh, the Legend of Zelda on. That was a terrible cartoon. Oh, I don't have a key for there either. Okay. Like I said, folks, lots of backtracking. I hope you guys are having fun. I gotta admit, playing this game is really fun, and it can be addicting sometimes. Just the overall gameplay is really good. Sweet! A key! Those little... mushroom top things, those little blue ones. Another demonic Elmo. It's demonic Elmo's bastard cousin. Demonic Elmo. <laughs> Don't mind me, guys. I'm in a very silly mood today. I just relaxed. I had a panic attack this morning, so the day didn't start off too well, but, uh, you know, just gotta relax and take things as they come, and now I'm in sort of a silly mood. I've, I'm beginning to relax a little bit from this morning. I was able to keep down some soup, so that's good. Sometimes when I have uh, panic attacks, I start to feel sick and I usually can't eat. I get an upset stomach. Along with... Well, any of you guys who have had panic attacks know what I'm talking about, you know? Your chest feels tight like it's constricting, it's hard to breathe, you start shaking, you start feeling terrified. Oh, that lovely crap. I haven't had a panic attack in a really long time, actually. Medication definitely does help. And I've been on a higher medication for about a few months now, and it's definitely helped. I haven't had any major panic attacks where I can't go outside, and I haven't had any major depressive episodes where I can't get out of bed for actually ever since I started the new dose, so that's good. <laughs> I wonder if Link's ever suffered from depression. 
ever figure there are days where he just can't get up for his quests? Maybe not. I guess it doesn't matter, because the fate of Hyrule lands in the balance. If he can't get up and defeat Ganon and defeat the monsters, then who's going to? Right? Although he must panic when he's about to, uh, go on a quest, though, you know? Your life is in the balance, fighting all those monsters, Ganon could kill him. Ganon could maybe find him while he's sleeping and kill him then. Although that'd be pretty low. And Ganon seems like a pretty sadistic guy. I, I don't think he would... I don't think he would opt for killing his enemy in his sleep. I think he he seems someone who gets off on torture. Like, he would want to torture Link first, you know? Make him scream and, and bleed and right when he can't take any more pain, then he'd probably want to kill Link in some fashion. Like, maybe stab him in the heart or rip off his head or something like that. I can't see Ganon being one for the quick death. I don't know. That's just my guess. I could be totally wrong. Hmm. Oh yeah, right, I already used the fairy. Oopsies. Probably shouldn't be talking about that personal shit on YouTube, but eh, who cares. Maybe I'll have viewers who can relate, and I'll get more subscribers that way. really freaky as if that demonic Elmo started to speak. That would be weird. I'm Elmo! Die, Link! Die! <laughs> okay, I don't think that was very good, but... <laughs> you know Elmo's weird laugh? Oh, he stabbed me in the back! Ow! Okay. Let's try this again. Alright, monster, I'm coming for ya. I'm still trying to get the hang of, uh, kill jumping him and hitting him in the head and- uh, No! Damn it! Oh, man. Okay, let's start again. You're probably wondering why I'm not starting at the beginning of the castle, huh? Well, there's a reason for that. I got the, uh, the special item from the castle, which was the candle. And there are a few caves around here, because what happens is, the candle lights up the caves. And there are a few things that I want to get around here before we get back to the castle again, to defeat the boss. Might as well gain some experience while I'm at it. I like destroying all the, enemy all the enemies in an area. On the right and the left. Hmm, what are those things? I can't even tell what they are. Are they snails? Or crabs or something? They're blue. Those look like octopuses. To me, they look like octopuses. Like, they have those tentacles. Like, red octopuses. Ganon has transformed them so that they're able to, uh, breathe out of water. Magic container! Yay! map. You see those black things that follow me around and if I hit one of them I obviously get into uh, get into like an area where you can do battle and gain experience. The really big ones are harder than the smaller ones. The smaller ones are the easy battles, the bigger ones are the harder ones. Just so you guys know. 
in case you people are, uh, or some people who are watching this are new to this game. Now we are going to go to that town where we should have gone the first time. So this brings us to the end of the video. Bye viewers!